Hello all. Today we'll be discussing training need analysis. Training need analysis basically is a systematic process of understanding training requirements. Whenever we decide to develop a training module for an organization or a department, first of all, we need to understand what is the need of training. And if we are able to identify the need of the training, then we'll be able to <coughs> develop the objectives of the training. And in this way, in an integrated way, the training module will be uh, designed. First, we need to understand the need of the training. And this can be done at three levels. First is the uh, organization level, then individual level and the job level. At what basically, uh, what are these uh, different levels? Because when suppose that organization is at its inception stage, uh, it's a startup. We will be requiring different kind of training for the organization, for the members, for the workforce. If it is an already established organization, then we'll be requiring uh, training from different perspective. If it is a learning organization, if new developments have come uh, outside the market, then we need to train the workforce accordingly. So at organization level also, we have different, uh, uh, different need of training. And basically, we have to abridge the gap between what is and what should be. After the uh, conduction of the training module, uh, they, the, uh, the gap should be shortened. It should concise what actually is expected and what actually is happening. So uh, the training process is very unique in its, uh, uh, in its uh, approach and need analysis can be, it, uh, can be done at the very first stage of developing the module. At the organization level, we can say that it focuses on the areas of training within organization and the factors that may affect the same. So at the organization level, the training need is more generic in nature. It is not departmental specific. It is for the uh, to be in line with organization mission, vision, goals, people inventories, processes, performance data. So this is what I was discussing that it is conducted basically at the very uh, beginning of the organization. The study gives cues about the kind of learning environment required by the training and uh, what, kind of, uh, uh, what kind of skills are expected from the workforce. So all these things will include the uh, objectives of training module. Then a job analysis, job analysis, job then when we have uh, aligned all the individual objectives and goals with the organization goals, then we need to see how individual people, how individuals are performing on their job, on their task. See job is a culmination of the different task given. So somebody, for example, in it, he is into marketing, so he can be very good at uh, sales. But marketing is not only about sales. He needs he need to do he, he is expected to do a lot many things. He is expected to lead a team. He is expected to make a report. So he needs to be good at uh, computer skills also. He needs to be good at motivation also, motivating the workforce. He needs to be good at uh, uh, developing leadership skills also. So there are so many tasks which he is assigned to which makes his job. So individual job analysis also tells us ki what kind of training is required. And if we do not stick to this, then what will happen? We will have a generic uh, and uh, uh, common uh, training for everyone, which may be helpful for some, but which may not be helpful for others. So this we cannot afford because training, as we have discussed in our earlier session also, it is very capital intensive. We need to spend a lot of energy, money. So it has to be uh, to the point, whatever is required, it has to be there. It is an objective assessment of the job wherein both the worker-oriented approach as well as the task-oriented approach is taken into consideration. 
uh, the worker approach identifies key behaviors and asks for a certain job and the task oriented approach identifies activities to be performed as i discussed with you like uh, activities the salesperson the activity which he has to perform is to sell to sell things okay and the uh, the human behavior that which is expected out of him is he has to have a good uh, personality good communication skill good communication convincing power he has to be a very good leader then he has to uh, motivate his team so all these things are required so we have discussed organization level then is the job level and then is the individual analysis individual analysis like of the same example if we take of the sales team so there might be people in the sales team suppose there are 10 people and uh, seven of them are working fine and they are able to achieve targets and three of them are little lagging behind their targets so it is uh, we have given the job related training to everyone equally okay all the 10 people were given but somehow seven people could uh, catch up with the uh, things taught and three people were not able to do so so now we need to focus on these three individuals ki how actually we have to uh, develop their skills so that they reach to the level of the other seven so this becomes individual analysis so in this way we see that the uh, training need actually percolates from the top management to the individual person who is uh, working in the organization so uh, this is what the HR department has to do. It cannot have a, uh, a, a blanket training module for everyone because it might not be helpful for some. So individual analysis, it is conducted through questionnaire, 360 degree per feedback, personal interviews. <clears throat> Their uh, bosses can be consulted. What all training you require uh, for your juniors. Uh, the, uh, all the stakeholders be it customer be it uh, the vendors be it uh, the boss the peer group you need to have an analysis of everyone around that individual who is somehow associated with him and then identify what can be done to improve his skills because this is what learning organizations do we the more the basic objective of training uh, is that you need to be uh, little better than you were before attending this training uh, training session so uh, so this is how we have to do so uh, we have uh, understood at three levels we have to do the training need analysis first is the, uh, the organization level third is organization level which actually uh, tells you what are the objectives of organization what is the mission mission objectives goals and accordingly we have to provide them training then is the job related analysis what are the requirements of the job and uh, what are your capabilities and how to abridge them and the third one is the individual analysis so if we do this these uh, the analysis at these three levels we will have a, a good training uh, module designed so that's all for this session we'll meet again thank you